Welcome to Daily Devotions. I'm Pastor David Chubb at Trinity Lutheran Church in West Bend. We continue this week to talk about peace. What is peace? How do we work for peace? And we begin today by reading from the 14th chapter of John's Gospel, where it says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. As the old song says, let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. In the midst of the disquiet of the world, Jesus promises us, Jesus' followers, peace. But it's not the peace that's defined by the world. Frederick Buechner writes, peace is not the absence of struggle, it's the presence of love. Again, we get that message from Scripture that peace arises out of right relationship. The one who knows that they are loved by God, no matter what has the power over them, um, they seek a better relationship rather than the upper hand. And they have peace in the midst of doing that. Viktor Frankl, in his famous book, Man's Search for Meaning, describes his experience in a Nazi prison camp. He talks of those who lost all hope. They were reduced to animals who fought over the smallest scrap of bread with no thought of one another. And then he reflects on those who were generous and caring and sometimes gave away their last scrap of bread. Those who, in short, were at peace. And what was the difference? He writes, then I grasp the meaning of the greatest secret that human poetry and human thought and belief have to impart. The salvation of humanity is through love and in love. I understand how a person who has nothing left in the world still may know bliss, be it only for the brief moment in the contemplation of their beloved. In a position of utter desolation, when a person cannot express themselves in positive action, when their only achievement may consist in enduring their suffering in the right way, an honorable way. In such a position, a person can, through loving contemplation of the image they carry of their beloved, achieve fulfillment. Hmm. We can have peace in the midst of all circumstances. The power of such peace can be heard in another story from World War II. Scottish soldiers were forced by their Japanese cap captors to labor on a jungle railroad. They had degenerated to barbarous behavior, but one afternoon something happened that changed their world. A shovel was found missing at one of the checkpoints, and the Japanese guard who was there lost his temper. He started to yell that if someone didn't admit to this, he would kill all of them. There was silence for a short time, and then one person stepped forward and admitted that they had stolen the shovel. The Japanese guard took his gun and beat the man to death. The rest of the people traveled on, and when they got to the next point, they found that there had been a miscount and that the shovels were all there. An innocent man had been willing to die to save the others. That incident changed everything. The men began to treat each other like brothers. When the victorious allies swept in, the survivors, who were just human skeletons by then, lined up in front of their captors and instead of attacking them, insisted no more hatred, no more killing. Now what we need is forgiveness. One person filled with the peace of God can begin to bring peace to the world around them. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with us. Let us pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Amen. Again, I want to remind everyone that this is our last week of daily devotions. Next week, we will start with just one devotion in the middle of the week. But I hope you will continue to join us, and I hope that God will continue to bless you and all you do. Have a good day.